I can uh, map an abnormal heart electricity and then with ablation I can, I can watch it go away. So a patient can be passing out from complete heart block and I can put a pacemaker in and all of a sudden they feel a lot better, they're not passing out, their quality of life greatly improves. One of the things I love about electrophysiology is I have successful cases pretty much every week. I'm Peter Farjo. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist and a clinical assistant professor here at University of Iowa. It really starts with understanding uh, each individual patient's disease process and symptomatology. Once I can understand that, I have a detailed discussion with them about um, their disease process and what they are looking for as far as improvements of quality of life and, and those symptoms. And once we're able to have that discussion, I can talk to them about certain therapies, whether it's uh, therapies with medicine, or if I recommend an invasive procedure that can help them and sometimes cure their, their issue. Conduction system pacing is a relatively new technique where we implant the lead into the actual conduction system of the heart. The advantage is, is that it paces the heart in a more uh, natural pattern and patients can a lot of times feel better and it decreases their risk of heart failure in the future. Our EP care is different because as an academic center we take on the hardest, the most difficult cases. Our electrophysiology group is, is very collaborative, we're very innovative. We have a really uh, close group of uh, electrophysiology physicians and we work together on, on cases, especially difficult cases, to come up with the best solutions and offer the best care, whether it's procedural care or medical therapy. I, I really do think we, we offer the best EP care in, in not only Iowa, but in the, in the region as well.